Hello Stampers with Art Stars and welcome to our second Make and Take project for our December 14th, 2016 Facebook team event. If you RSVP'd in time you will have received a Make and Take packet and in there you have supplies for two different Make and Takes. Here are the supplies for our second project. You'll need the vanilla cardstock, this die cut and stamped piece of watercolor paper, this die cut, piece of Calypso coral paper, some vanilla ribbon, the doily, the half doily, the embellishment, and some of the designer paper. So if, if you were going to replicate this project, you would need to have the following supplies. You'd need some vanilla cardstock, watercolor paper, the Calypso coral, coral cardstock. You'd need these embellishments. They're called Falling in Love and they're from the Occasions catalog. You'll also need the vanilla satin ribbon from the Occasions catalog and these doilies from the Occasions catalog. These are all new. Um, this one is double-sided if you didn't know, so you have a white side and a vanilla side. You'll also need uh, a bit of the This Christmas designer series paper from our annual catalog. These are the images that you see on those papers. I use the snowflake and the music notes for this make and take. So some of you have one, some of you have the other. You'll also need some framelits. You'll need the stitch shaped framelits. I'm using the largest oval in that. And you'll also need the layering oval framelit dies along with your big shot so that you can replicate and do lots more cards. <laughs> and this is the, the die that I used for that one, the largest um, scalloped oval on that. Lastly, you would need the All Things Thanks stamp set from the Occasions catalog and your basic black ink or stays on black ink. Either one would work great. If you do use the basic black, please note that you need to let it dry completely or heat set it because it takes a little bit longer to set in than the stays on. And when you're watercoloring over the top of it, which is what we're going to do, um, you don't want that to bleed. So we're going to start by grabbing the tools I need you to use from your own stash. You'll need some adhesive, and you can either use the fast fuse or the snail adhesive. You'll need a glue dot. You'll need a sharp scissors like the paper snips, um, because we also have a ribbon in there. I have both my paper snips for paper and for ribbon. You will also need either a paintbrush or the aqua painter filled and ready to go. Um, you'll need some water if you're going to use a paintbrush. And then you'll need either the watercolor pencils or your Calypso Coral ink pad. If you do not have the watercolor pencils, this one will do just fine. But if you do, grab the Calypso Coral color from there. Now let me just show you the difference between the two. So if we were to color with the Calypso Coral pencil, and let's just add lots of color on this one and add just a little bit of color on this one. I want to show you the difference. Oops need that closed. I want to show you the difference between all of these. So you grab your aqua painter or paintbrush and we're just going to start, well, we'll start with the lighter one here. We're going to start by just blending the color. So I'm getting it wet and you can see it's giving it a nice light wash. Okay, you can barely see that, especially in this light. Sorry about that. Um, but if you were going to go in and have just a little bit more color, you can then do that with your pencil by adjusting how much pencil you add to your paper. So if I hold this up really close, there we go, now you can kind of see the difference between the two. You can have a light wash or a dark wash depending on how hard you press with your pencil. You can also come in and just add ink. And again, you can add lots of ink, um, less water or more water, less ink, and you can kind of get that same effect with the ink from the well of your ink pad. Okay, so either one should work just fine. A majority of my color I want to be in the center of here, of this piece here, so I'm going to add more color in the center. And now we're going to set this aside to dry. So our piece is now done and dry. I used my heat tool to quicken the process a bit. Um, this is called a watercolor wash. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's 
we're going to set that aside for just a second because I want to share with you. Um, I did not have a lot of this paper left when it came time for the make and take, but I really wanted to use it because I loved the black on vanilla look. And because I had mostly four inch wide strips, I cut diagonally. And that way, when you, ha when you got your piece, you got a portion that was longer than four inches, um, but it had kind of a fun, funny end on each side. And that's because, again, I cut them diagonally. So your piece should fit right across the front of your card. I'm doing a vertical card with mine, so it opens this way at the bottom. And I put my piece an inch down from the top. So again, it was only from four inch wide paper, but it reached across the four and a quarter inch span from my card with that trick. Now we're going to take this piece here and we're going to use our adhesive. Ah, yes, I stamped on the back of this one. This was my reject one that I was not going to pass out to anybody. The rest of you got pretty, pretty good centered and stamped pieces, hopefully. <laughs> So we have that put on here, and now we're going to add this doily piece to the back. And I find that if I kind of figure out where it's going to go first, then I can hold on to it, flip it over, peel up a side, add my adhesive back there, stick it down, peel up the other side, stick it down. And now I can go ahead and put the rest of my adhesive on the back side of this. Okay, so we're going to add that to the front, right centered underneath so that we still see lots of snowflakes from that designer paper. We'll set that about there. I've already taken my ribbon and tied it into a bow, so now I can use my glue dots and add that. Where is it? There it is. And that's going to kind of go off to the right a little bit. We'll use our paper snips and trim that up. And then we'll need another glue dot to add our embellishment, which is going to just go off to the right here. Even more. Oops. Got to grab it first. <laughs> there we go. So there's one version of the card. Oops, I'm going to trim this. Hang on. <laughs> There's one version of the card. You could also do your layout a little differently. Here is another version that I did doing the horizontal version. So it opens this way instead. And I just looped my ribbon underneath so it has a little dimension to it still, but it's not a bow use this as kind of a, a little, I don't know, a little banner piece coming in there. And um, yeah, so a couple different versions of that. I would love to see your version. So feel free to get creative with these supplies. Thank you. I'm glad that you joined me for the Make and Takes.